know where this massive storm will go. After it hits the coast, the worst possibility is it could stall. Meteorologist Megan Glaros of our Chicago station WBBM-TV is here with the newest changes to Florence's track. Megan, good morning. Good morning, John. And there have been some changes and probably not for the better. What we're looking at right now is still a Category 4 storm. This is a force of nature. Winds to 130, as you said, moving west-northwest at 17. What's happening is it's rolling over warmer waters in the Atlantic right now. That's serving to really strengthen it. Landfall looks still to be sometime early Friday, but the question is, where? And does it stay off the coastline for longer? That would actually be a worse scenario as we move forward here because if it rides off the coastline, that means you're getting the storm surge continuing, the winds continuing, the rain for a longer time period. It continues to ride down that coast. And obviously then you're also talking about a bigger area that it could be impacting uh, most strongly. Now we've got a ridge of high pressure on off near Bermuda, another up across parts of the United States. The problem is they're kind of combining. And so it's not giving the storm anywhere to go. It's trapped, essentially, and that's going to push it south a little bit. That's why we've seen those changes to the model guidance and the changes to the track. What we're looking at here, though, is always on the right side of circulation, specifically the right front quadrant. That's where we have the greatest concern for storm surge, for winds, and for tornadoes within the landfalling hurricane. We're also talking about a major rainfall event, upwards of 30 inches possible, and that area as well has expanded. So certainly something that bears watching over these next few days, Gail. Boy, none of it looks or sounds good. Thank you very much, Megan.